Okay, here's a Faraday cup, uh, cup or Faraday collector. Pretty much what it does is uh, try to measure the uh, the charge entering this cup per unit time. It does know the flux of the particle uh, of the certain charged particles. So the uh, way of this is pretty easy, relative, relatively easy. You have a cup that is connected, that is, will be charged. Another outside is a shield, and the, uh, the blue, uh, the green one is basically an accelerator and the shield. So basically accelerate into the in inside, and then it's relatively hard to get uh, get out get out because of this. The area is relatively, or the hole is relatively small. And uh, and see, there is a this will be charged. Then uh, you will have uh, you have a current given the given you have. Uh, 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 you have a you have a bias uh, to it, so based on the three current, oh, uh, I uh, Kirchhoff's law pretty much I uh, I I I C I sigma. Then, then we'll end up have ended up having this exp uh, this expression right uh, C I C equals I uh, I plus I sigma. Then we know that uh, you know from Ohm's law and. Uh, the property, uh, the the characteristic curve of uh, of the capacitor, we can ended up derive uh, having this expression coming from the Q equals CV, uh, CV and then uh, and then I I equals DQ DT. We have this expression, and then the current flowing through uh, like I I. Is pretty much is pretty much the, uh, pretty much can re represent how much flux flowing through the the Faraday cap a cup. Um, again, disclaimer: my understanding is pretty of those uh, diagnosis is pretty limited. So take my explanation with a grain of salt. I will put the. Uh, Put this my note uh, into uh, into the description so that you can check it out.